Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to Scrap Mechanic Survival, and today we are going to be focusing on some trading, because what I want to work towards, which is, oh, which is probably going to require a decent amount of trading, is I want to work towards getting a handful of mountable spud guns, because out of all the uh, weapons and defenses that we've, we've used crushers, we've used saw blades, I mean, I have drills but I haven't like really used them for off or offensive or defensive reasons, but they kind of work the same as saw blades anyway. Obviously we have all the different spud guns except the mountable spud gun. That is one of the things that is missing. And I'm not gonna use them for my base because I feel like using them for the base, uh, it's gonna be really hard to use them efficiently. Where am I going? I just lost track of where I was going because I was doing my intro. I'm going over here to the farmer. Ooh, can I get up here from the back? This might be kind of fun. Come on. Come on. There we go. Look at this. I've actually never been back here. I don't know why I've never gone back here. But what I want to do eventually, at some point, is I want to build an offensive vehicle. Look, there's even a keep out sign back here. So is this like a legitimate way into the place? Like, oh, there's like a, there's a back entrance. I never knew this. So yeah, anyway, now that I'm not as distracted by the fact that I found a new way into the trader that I didn't know about before, uh, I want to build- really? Really? I got a big butt. <laughs> My butt's too big for this. So I want to build a vehicle that is designed to be protected against farm bots because right now my vehicle is server purpose. This is my looting vehicle because of all the chests. I have a mining vehicle. I even have a trading vehicle kind of right now. But what I do not have is a vehicle that is protected against uh, bots. And what I want to do, I want to do some experiments with saw blades. I want to have a mountable spudling gun on it. And in order to do that, I need to buy spud guns. So the reason I came here for the intro is I don't know what the spud guns cost. The mountable ones. All right, they... Oh, I can buy... Yeah. Thank you. I already had enough. I wanted four of them, and now I have four of them. Okay, I thought we were going to be doing a lot of farming this episode, but I already have everything I need. Actually, I'm going to buy five. I'm going to use all my bananas to buy five of these. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. We have five mountable spud guns now. Okay, we're building we're building a spudling gun uh, car. So basically what I want to do is on the front of a car like this, but I'm going to have to build a new one because I need it to be odd width. Uh, I'm going to have an automatic spudling gun and we are going to try to take out some bots with it just to see how it goes. I know it's going to be not the greatest thing because it's going to be really, really hard to have good aim. But what I figure the strategy is, is if a bot is coming after me from the front, all I'll have to do is back up with enough speed to stay away from the bot. And I just fire the spuddling gun for a little bit and it should, that should do the trick, right? All right, so let's head back home now that we have the spud guns that we need. And I am so happy that I just already had that. I literally had no idea. I already had all that, uh, all those fruits. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, I have a bunch of like higher tier metal and stuff crafting just cause I don't have any of it. So I'm just gonna craft as much as I can. Uh, we need four sensors. So I'm gonna craft one, two, three, four sensors. And we're gonna need moral logic stuff. So I'm gonna do one, two, I'm just gonna do four four logic gates, I think. Okay, and I am going, how durable are the spud guns? They're not that durable. They're like, they're definitely mid-range durability. All right, so since we're also gonna be building a vehicle, I guess I'll build one, two. I'm so glad I have enough for these wheels. Um, and three, four. And I know I have a bunch of suspension already from our failed drill design. Well, it wasn't failed, it was just laggy. So we had to get rid of the suspension. What else? What am I going to build it out of? I don't know if I have enough tier 3 metal yet. I just started crafting the tier 3 metal. I have 100 and 100. I have 200. That's not a lot. I might have to... I don't know. I don't know what to build this out of. We are going to have a raid tonight as well, by the way. So that's something to look out for later. I have a full crop of potatoes going just in preparation for all the ammo. 
uh, for using all the ammo with the raids and, well, not really a lot of ammo with raids anymore, but with this car that we're going to be building. So let's get everything we need to get ready. I'm going to need four suspension. One, two, three, four. I'm going to need my bearings on me. I'm going to need an engine, another engine, another gas canister. Oh, I already had a sensor crafted. I didn't realize that. I'm going to need a button. I need an odd seat. Oh, I hope I have enough for these things. All right, engine. Okay, I definitely have enough for an engine. So let's craft the engine. Do I have enough for an odd seat? Whew, just enough with the cotton, but I have some extra cotton over by the dress bot, fortunately. So that stuff can start crafting. And I'm going to try to craft this thing out of tier three metal. I'm going to start with what tier three metal that we have already, which is about 300. All right, sun's going to set soon, but I'm going to go ahead and start building this thing. And I just got to remember not to lose track of time because of the, uh, well, the raid is going to be coming and I don't want to miss that. Oh man, this stuff, this is my first time actually using tier three metal. I've never actually seen it up close before. This stuff looks awesome. All right, so I'm actually going to start off here with uh, working on the spuddling gun mechanism because I kind of want to build the car around this, which means, oh, I'm going to need another engine. Mm, I have another engine. I can get the engine over from the farm. Yeah, so we're not using this or this anymore, I'm pretty sure, because we learned that the saw blades serve the same purpose when they're not powered, when it comes to keeping the bots at a safe distance away from our wall. All right, and of course it's getting nighttime by the time I'm building, so I'm not even gonna be able to see what I'm doing. Okay, so now to make an effective spuddling gun, um, we are going to need a few things now. Let's see, how do these things mount? Oh, I need some, I need some liquids in me. I need some milk. So this is gonna spin. We're gonna have that one right there, and now we need sensors. Where are, oh, I never picked up the sensors. So this sensor is going to go right there, put another sensor facing that way, another sensor facing that way, and we're going to turn the, oh, they're automatically on one. That's excellent. We don't even have to upgrade the sensors. I didn't even realize the sensors needed to be upgraded. This is my first time using, um, well, no, I used a sensor over there, but I didn't have to upgrade that one either. All right, and then this one is going to go right there, and they all go on as such. Yes, such. There we go. Oh, man, this thing's actually pretty big. I wanted it to be kind of contained in the vehicle, but I think if I build a box around this, these are going to collide as they spin, and I think it needs to be kind of open on the sides, unfortunately. So then we hook up each sensor to its corresponding spud gun, and don't worry about the middle one. The middle one is going to be controlled by a logic repeater, and these are probably going to use... Oh, I didn't... Uh, you know what I need? I forgot. Uh, I wasted all that time. I need to go back to the trader because I need to see what an ammo canister costs. I don't have an ammo canister and we can't get ammo to these spud guns without an ammo canister. So that, that's annoying that I forgot about that. All right, our seat's going to go right here and we are going to have to get ready for the raid because it's coming in a minute. Oh, of course our crops are already sprouted and I have no space in my inventory to pick anything up. Uh. All right, incoming raid. Incoming raid. Oh, it's so laggy. They really need to fix the raid optimization. All right, there we go. Let's hope it works well. Okay, come on in. Come on in, come closer. There we go, come closer. Come on closer. Wait, are there anything coming on the sides? All right, they're good. They're all good. Anything over here? It looks like he's gonna, oh, I didn't mean to go under. I meant to jump on top. Yep, come on closer. Okay, everything is looking... Oh, he got knocked back into the water, okay. <laughs> come on. Alright, he's, uh, he's giving us a little bit of trouble here, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do it the manual route. Alright, is that everybody? I feel like there's still a little bit of lag. I think... Oh, we just killed one somewhere. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, and I think that is everyone. Another successful defense. All right, I'm going to pick up as much as I can from here and just start putting it away. Okay, farm's all sorted out. We have another crop of potatoes going because I have a lot of ammo, a lot of ammo stores to fill up. So now, back onto this thing, we need two engines. Do I have two engines on me? I do have two engines on me. One of them is already level five, so that's good. We're gonna use that one. Actually, we should level up everything to level five just for the fuel consumption. We're gonna put one right there. We're gonna put one right there. I just want this thing to be kind of symmetrical. We're gonna move these out just a little bit and we're gonna fit the gas canister right in between them. 
just like that. Now for spud guns, you want a four logic loop. So just like this, and then you just change one of them to a NOR gate and there you have a loop. And uh, that's because the four logic loop repeats at the exact quickest time that the spud gun's firing rate is. Where if you do a three logic loop, it'll be going too quickly and it'll fire, it'll try to fire the spud gun before it's ready to fire. So it'll miss a beat basically. I'm gonna hook that up to this engine and I'm gonna hook it up to one of these. And then what that does is it stops it until we enable it. So then I can just go ahead and hook up this to the middle spud gun. So the middle spud gun is gonna be firing that fast. It's also gonna trigger this engine and that engine will rotate that. So now all of these should fire when they hit this bottom one. So that means I gotta keep these areas open, which is unfortunate. I'm just realizing I think I need more logic in here because what's gonna happen right now, since these sensors are hooked in directly to each spud gun, that's an issue because that means they're gonna fire if the sensors get triggered even while we're driving about. And we want them only to fire when we want them to fire because we don't want them to be wasting ammo. And oh, I just realized I still have to figure out, I gotta fit the ammo canister on here too, not just the gas canister. Okay, so now each of these AND gates is going to trigger its own spudling gun. And then each of these sensors is going to trigger the corresponding AND gates. And now this switch goes into all of these. So now the, the sensor has to be active and the switch has to be on in order for these to get triggered. So that one switch should basically turn on the entire Gatling gun. All right, so now I just gotta try to build out the rest of this vehicle and hope that I don't mess anything up <laughs> when it comes to the function of this. I think these should be okay as far as collisions go because I'm pretty sure, uh, is that corner? I don't know, I need, uh, I, need to, I need to actually power it on. All right, that spins. It spins, that is promising but that is actually really fast. That's probably faster than we even want it to be. There we go, look at that, look at how fast they trigger. Oh, they, why do they stop for a second? It's probably because it's going too fast. Let's turn the engine down a little bit. Turn it down to here. It goes really, really, really fast. All right, what about level one? Oh, why isn't it spinning? Oh, is that off? That is off. I think that's actually too fast. It like, it messes up the gates. I don't want to have to use an electric engine for this because I feel like I don't know what to do about batteries. Actually, but the, this is so light for that bearing. Maybe we're just not going to run out of battery. I think I have a level five electric engine in here. And then I'm sure I have a bunch of batteries up here somewhere. There we go. Let's just use seven for now. All right. Why did I just lose a battery after putting it in there? Did you see that? I put seven batteries in here and it's already down to six. It's probably like 6.99 and it just rounds down. So let's see what speed do we need for this. This is uh, speed number one. Holy cow, that is so slow. Okay. Well, let's turn this up to here. Okay, that's pretty, that's pretty good. All right, now let's turn it up to, what is max speed? Okay, and yeah, that's that's too much. So somewhere in between there. Yeah, I think we're gonna be good with that. All right, now let's actually build the rest of this and remember about the raid tonight. Oh, there's a raid! I forgot about the raid! I was so distracted by the car! Oh no! Okay, don't worry, we planned for this. We planned for this. Uh, oh, I just gotta hit that switch. Oh, it's so laggy too. Did I hit it? I didn't hit it. Oh, come on. Come on. They're staying back, I think, thanks to the saw blades. There it is. There it is. It's on, right? It looks like the switch is on. I can't tell. Come on. There we go. There we go. Alright, did they attack my wall? I can't actually tell. Oh, <gasps> they're attacking the back. Why are they at the back? They're inside. How did you get inside? How did he get? No.
guys. <laughs> oh, we have a problem. Oh, no, we have a big problem. <laughs> what happened? I don't think they broke the thing. I think the thing broke itself. Okay. What do we do about this? What do we do about this? This is an, this is a really big problem right now. All right, hold on. I don't know if this is going to be fixable. Like I actually I don't know if this is going to be fixable. I don't know what just happened. Oh, there's another one too. Ah. Oh, scrap mechanic. Are you, are you, are you fixing? Or are you, are you completely broken forever? I don't know, this doesn't look right. How did it get, he got all the way through here? Man. Okay, see, this does not look right. Um, let me. So it appears to be working right now. But we have a problem uh, that, like, you can clearly see it's not what it used to be. So, I don't know what to do right now. We might have to detach and reattach this. I'm going to leave this as is right now. And, yeah, we're going to get another raid tonight either way. These aren't going to sprout in time, I don't think. All right, the good news is after harvesting all the crops and fixing the hole in the crusher, it seems to have settled down back to normal for the most part. But I'm just a little bit concerned as to why that happened in the first place. I don't even know if I have enough. I have some wood here. I don't know if this is going to be enough to patch up this hole. It should be. Man, I can't believe a haybot. Like, a haybot got all the way over here? This is such a weird spot for a haybot to be. But it looks like they didn't do any damage to the actual crusher itself, which is nice. All right, let's get back to building the car, and uh, I'm going to stop growing, but we're still going to have a raid tonight, and I have to try not to forget that, which I probably am. I'm probably going to forget that. All right, so I'm realizing that saw blades are huge, so they also have low friction, so I was thinking about using saw blades for wheels at one point, but uh, I think they purposely gave the saw blades really low friction so that you can't do that, because since the bots are afraid of saw blades, I thought it would be great to protect your wheels just by creating a fear barrier around your saw blades to keep the uh, the bot away. But we can't just attach the saw blades to the wheels very easily, it looks like, unfortunately. So I was thinking maybe, like, what if we did something along the lines of... Actually, then it's going to be... That's going to be in the way of everything. Hold on. Like, what about this... And then that's going to not allow me to steer, though. And that would keep the bots back from the front of our vehicle, right? All right, after doing some experimentation, I think I found a better location for the saw blades. I think as wheel wells, the saw blades will actually work kind of nice like that. And just to make it look like it's not completely stupid, I'm going to go ahead and uh, place some blocks right underneath it. So it looks like it's actually attached at the center point. There we go. And I can stiffen this back up, stiffen this back up. All right, I think this is going good. I actually don't have enough to make another saw blade. I need more of tier two metal. So this is where this gas tank is going to go. I'm going to put the ammo container right here, but we have to go get that at some point. And we also need to place our electric engine on here and our gas engine needs to still go on here. All right, I'm a little bit worried. I made this thing too narrow and uh, top heavy because when I turn too sharp, I want four wheel steering because I really want that maneuverability. Actually, maybe four wheel steering was a bad idea because maybe we don't want that much maneuverability. Maybe we want more fine tuning, like su more subtle movements if we're gonna be aiming this gun. All right, I'm gonna get rid of the rear wheel steering then. All right, so now let's hope that we can steer pretty sharp without tipping over now. Let's see here. All right, we still kind of want to tip a little bit. It's not as bad as it was before. Adding more saw blades on the top might make it worse. Adding any more weight on the top might also make it worse. Excuse me, cow. Ah, we might have to widen the wheelbase. Oh, that's going to be tedious. All right. There we go. Mission successful. We have 30 seconds to get back to our base and defend it against a probably really laggy raid. 
please don't mess up with the wall this time. I have no idea if this is like stable anymore or what's gonna happen with this. All right, moment of truth. Is our wall okay? Is our crusher gonna be okay? All right, here we go. The hay blocks around the sides are stopped. All right, we got that one right there. He's dead. Wall's holding up so far. There aren't a lot of hay bots actually coming at me. We got some greenies on the side here. Dead now. Oh, how did he get on top? How did that guy get on top? All right, and this guy's getting around too. Um, you're having a bad time, aren't you? <laughs> All right, well, that wasn't... Well, that raid was much more tolerable, and our wall seems to be fixed. What? How did he get over here? How... How did they get over here? How does that happen? The last I checked, they had this water over here, so if they were gonna get around the water, they would have had to gone around this way, and then stayed away from this wall, gone down here, and then over here. Are they, like... Are they getting smarter? We're gonna have to make this wall bigger. That, like, my plan was to make this wall bigger, but we're gonna have to do this sooner than later, I think. I'm gonna have to do this, like, off-camera or something. All right, well, we shouldn't have a raid tomorrow, so I think we're okay. All right, so now we can build in peace without having to think about the next raid. All right, so we just made the wheelbase of this wider, so let's test it out, see if we can uh, maneuver a little bit better without risking tipping over as much. All right, here we go. Oh yeah, look at that. Now we now we drift instead of tipping over. But that's good now. That is good. Worrying about tipping over would be really, really bad. All right, what if we're reversing though? Because we're going to be reversing when we're shooting things. Oh man, a little bit too fast. All right, but hold on. Let's say we reverse and then we do quick turn. Yeah, we're not tipping over in this thing. We are not tipping over in this thing. And if anything, I need to lower the uh, the engine power a little bit. All right, so now I should be able to press the button and I should activate that. But now we need to get uh, an ammo container. So let's go ahead and let's actually just drive this vehicle over to the trader and see if we have enough to already get an ammo canister. If not, we're gonna have to do whatever farming or maybe even we need a cage farmer or something. I don't know, but we're gonna have to do whatever we need for that. But at least we get a feel for how the vehicle is going to handle. I wish I could make it look nicer though, but we need wedge blocks. They said that they're going to be putting wedge blocks in the game at some point in the survival mode, but uh, we do not have them just yet. So right now it's hard to make things not look super blocky. All right, I feel like this thing actually needs to be heavier. It's a little bit bouncy, but overall it handles nice. Oh, and what I do want to test, but I don't want to risk my vehicle at the same time, but I want to test will a hay bot or any type of bot get near my front wheels and attack them or not? But so far, we didn't flip over once. It was a nice smooth ride over here for the most part. When it comes to scrap mechanic, it was a smooth ride. All right, and we need an ammo canister. Beets? Are you kidding me? All we need is beets? How do we not? Oh, because I spent all my beets on fertilizer. <sighs> okay. Wait, are we only going to be able to carry 100 ammo? And I think we're only going to be able to carry 100 ammo in this thing. So we're going to have to definitely have backup ammo chests for sure. Which we have room to expand on the sides with chests, so that's good. All right, if I find a hay bot on the way back, I'm gonna take a big risk here, and I'm just gonna try to. I'm gonna run up to him. Oh, here we go. I'm gonna see what happens if he gets close. I just wanna have an escape route. All right, will he hit my wheel? I'm really nervous about this. Please, please don't hit my wheel. I should probably do this closer to my base, but you know what? Let's just do it. Look at this. This is good. Huh? That scared me. I am so nervous right now. Like, he just needs to take a swing at these spud guns and he could probably just damage them. <gasps> that made me nervous. I don't know if he was going to hit or if he was still in, like, caution mode. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know if I want to test it anymore. Can I don't even know if the spud guns can take a hit from these guys. Ah, oh, I am so I don't know what to I don't know what to think. Oh, oh, no, 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 no.
Well, sometimes you have to make sacrifices in the name of science. <laughs> but as you can see, that seemed to be working. Like, he, he was cautious around my wheels and around the front of my vehicle. He didn't just go straight in for the attack. Maybe that was just a particularly cautious bot and another one would just come in and start attacking, but... I feel like if you just cover your vehicle in saw blades, then they're not gonna wanna touch you. Oh, here's another one. All right, we're back home too, so... If he ruins my wheels, then at least we're right here. But I need to... I need to turn around. He's behind me. All right. Excuse me, cow. All right, here we go. So now I can just start... Blip, 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 blip. That's the sound of the spudling gun. All right, I'm gonna stop now. Look at that. He's trying to look for a way in. It works. It works. It actually works. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, he's ragdolled too. I'm ragdolled. It's a ragdoll competition. <laughs> All right. And I win. Okay, let's plant some beets. Actually, let's check how many beets do I have in my uh, 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 packaging vehicle. Five. <gasps> I have enough. I have exactly enough. Oh, but I need it here. So let's go ahead and start packaging. Oh, I realize I don't have a bed on this either. I should probably put a bed in here too, because if I'm going to be out attacking things and I die, that'd be risky not having a bed on you. All right, but it is time to go to the packaging station and I have no fuel in this thing. So I'm just going to take my fuel out of here and we're going to transfer it right over here. All right, I had enough to get one thing of tomatoes. And actually, I'm going to put these on the front. One thing of tomatoes and one thing of beets from the packing station, which, uh, hey, that's good enough for me. So let's head on and get ourselves a ammo container. And we're ready, Mr. Trader. Mr. Trader, I would like one ammo container, please. Okay, thank you. Let's go. All right, let's actually take a look at it. Yeah, so it looks like we can carry... Oh, no, not 100, because each stack of ammo is 50, so we can carry 250 ammo. That is plenty. I think that's plenty for this thing. All right, I'm ready. I'm ready. I have the ammo container. Put the ammo right there. All right, let me get uh, 250 more ammo. One, two, three, four, five. And load it on up. One, two, three, four, five. And then I believe we just got to hook this up to all of the spud guns. My first time using mountable spud guns. Yes. Okay. Are you guys ready? When I press the button, I think we should have spudling gun action. I hope. I hope I did it right. Here, let's actually face towards the sun. We'll get a nice, bright view of this. The sun's about to set in like an hour. All right, and... Are they... Yes, I think it's working. How much ammo did that just use? That used 50 ammo. This is gonna run out very, very quick. So what that's telling me is we're gonna need to definitely have chests with extra ammo on this thing. But let's go test it out. Let's test it out on a bot. We're not gonna have a raid tonight, so that's fine. Oh, I didn't put, light I didn't put lights on this thing yet. But before we do, is there, before it gets dark, is there a bot nearby? Oh, there's one, there's one. All right, let's get them to follow us. Actually, do I have enough? It's it's open enough here. All right. What's my range like? I don't even know what my range is actually like. It's going to first person. All right, too low apparently. I guess we'll wait for him to get close. Okay, come on. That was instant. That was so instant. We just needed to press the button for like a second. Not even. Oh, man. All right, let's put some lights on this thing. Let's, uh, let's... I forgot to put fuel back in it. I took all the fuel out. All right, so I just want to kind of finish making this thing what I want it to be. I'd really like to have two more saw blades for the back wheels, just so we're pr protected from all sides, and we would have a little bit more range around us rather than just the front. I think we're okay with what we have now, and I don't even need this extra engine. All right, I got a few more chests here. So, oh, my bed. I need a bed, too. We cannot have a vehicle designed to go out and kill bots, or at least be able to kill bots and not be able to spawn back on the vehicle. Do I have enough to build a bed? Yes, I do. I just need to put this in here. And now I build myself a bed, and this is going to probably make the vehicle end up looking terrible. All right, and then I'm putting the chests up in the front, because chests, I think, are pretty heavy. Yeah, they have a lot of weight, so I think... 
There we go. Putting them up on the front is going to put more weight on our steering, which is going to be good. And let's just hope that that's not interfering with the steering. No, I think we're all good on the steering then. Excellent. This is really, really good. And now we can put excess ammo or extra ammo into those chests. So I'm just going to go ahead and take all the ammo out of here. I can also take my bed. And now we can figure out, I think I can put the bed somewhere back here, right? We got bed action just like that. And what happened? Can I do this? Oh my goodness. That works. Our bed is protected. You can't even see that it's a bed hardly. Actually, what if I have it facing inside? Does that look better? I think the inside looks better. I think that works. I think that's functional. All right, for now, I'm just going to put the third saw blade that I have on the back right here. <laughs> Just so nothing comes in from directly in the back and hits us. But eventually I need to save up some metal to make another saw blade. And we're just going to do in the back what we've done in the front up here. So the ultimate test that I want to do with this vehicle is I really, really want to try to take out a big boss with them. If I just drive backwards and shoot, I think I could maybe take out a big boss. This is not like a spudling gun. The spudling gun here... These spuds do less damage per shot than our spud gun here, but these are multiple of this kind of gun mounted to the front, five of them. So we're essentially increasing the damage output of something like this by like five. So it's gonna take way less shots to kill a big boss than one of these guns would. All right, so I painted it up all red. This metal looks really awesome. And we're gonna head out and try to find a big boss and see how quickly we can kill him or if we make a terrible mistake and end up dying. All right, keep an eye out for a boss. I would go to the burned boss biome that uh, we were in last time, but there's not a lot of room for movement there. And I don't think that's gonna be a good spot for a vehicle to try to take out a boss. So I think our best bet is to find a boss just out in the wild on the terrain where we can probably get it in a more open area and back away without bumping into things. All right, there's a bunch of hay bots up here. I don't see any bosses, but let's actually try it with these hay bots. We've never tried it with a hay boss, a hay bot that's actually attacking. Wait a minute, what happened to my light? I had a light right up in the center there. All right, here we go. <sighs> this is that's a little excessive, almost. Man, how fast are we going to be able to kill the big guy? What happened to the light? I had a light right up here, and it painted it and everything. I'm totally missing a light. Oh, I'm getting attacked. I'm getting attacked. All right, come on. Come at me. Come at me. Look at that. Just like that. I don't even have to get out of my vehicle to kill these guys. All right, there's another one over here. Let's go ahead and get in the first person. I don't think we have that big of a range. All right, there we go. I'm really, really excited now to find a boss because of how effective it is against just the hay bots. <laughs> Look at that! That is so good. Oh, here we go. I made it back to this chemical plant, and I think last time I was here, there was a boss here, and it was a nice open area, too, to fight the boss in. So let's see if he's still here. If he is, this could be really, really good for us. All right, I do not want to waste potatoes on these guys, to be honest. So I'm just. Oh, he is there. I just saw a glimpse of him. So this is good. Let's just clear the area. Okay. This is gonna be great. There he is, right over there. All right, so how long do you think this is gonna be successful? All right, we got some boss coming after us. Does he see me? Okay, he's not coming after me yet. I thought he was coming after me. All right, are you guys ready? This is what we've been waiting for. Here it goes. Come on, come on, come on after me. Here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. <laughs> Just like that. Just like that. Just like that. <laughs> now, I don't even know if the boss is a, a, averse to saw blades like the hay bots are. I'm gonna assume no, so, but I did not want to take that risk right there. But as you can see, this vehicle is OP. This vehicle is definitely OP. Look at how easy it is to kill these things. Look at this. My only weakness is these guys behind me here. But if I just do a little bit of this. Oh. <sighs> okay. Right. 
fine, fine. Hide in the corner. Hide in the corner. That's really what you want to do. You know what? You can't hide. You can't hide. <laughs> this thing's way easier to use than I thought it was going to be. Like, aiming? I thought aiming was going to be really, really difficult, but it's actually super easy to know when you're going to hit them. So yeah, I think as long as we're in this vehicle, uh, we don't have to be afraid of the bosses anymore. We don't have to get out of our vehicle at all. Well, we got another warehouse key, yet again. Oh, how many potatoes do we have left? I've been killing all these guys. Where's my ammo? Here it is. Oh yeah, all right, we did use about 150 potatoes, but that's including everything that I killed on the way here. So we still have plenty of ammo left. So let's go ahead and uh, add another 150 back in here. Just like that, we are reloaded. All right, well, let's head back home. And uh, if I encounter any bosses on the way there, I'm definitely gonna take them out with this vehicle. All right, watch this jump, watch this jump. Woo! Holy cow, that's a lot of air. That was pretty epic. <laughs> oh, guys, this is really bad. I hear a big boss. I hear him, but it is pitch black and it is completely forest cover. Like I have no movement around here anywhere. So I'm actually nervous because I'm not gonna be able to plot out like a I'm not going to be able to back up. I don't even know where he is. I just hear him. Ah, oh, I'm scared. Do you guys hear that? That is so scary. Like, I assume... The sound is coming from everywhere. Like, there's no directional sound when it comes to this. I cannot pinpoint the direction. There it is. There he is. Okay. All right. He's right there. No, there's more than one. That's why I can't pinpoint the sound. Because there's more than one here. We are surrounded by these guys right now. I, I have to wait it out until daytime. And hope that they don't notice me. Because I, I have no idea what the exit path is out of here. I can't see too far, too far ahead and plan out my path. This is, this is so bad. I have to wait three in-game hours for this one to come up. We're okay. I just, are they going to wander near me? Yeah, I'm waiting right here. Right here and hoping that they don't come to attack. Because in order for this vehicle to work, as intended, I need to be able to see where I'm going. <laughs> and that's not what's happening right now. Oh man, he's right on the other side of this rock. Look at him over there. I don't even want to move in case like, I don't know if they hear your movement. <gasps> that was such fast movement so suddenly, why? I cannot believe how close I was just driving into the biggest ambush I've ever driven into. Oh, he's looking right at me. Oh, that scared me. That scared me so much. Oh, one more minute left until it starts getting bright. If one of these guys starts coming after me, I'm just going to have to run or drive and hope I don't hit anything. Oh! <gasps> Oh man, this is so nerve wracking. He's like right there. He's looking right at me. He is looking right at me. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, this Haybot's gonna come and ruin it all. All right, sun's coming up. All right, I see the way up. Is that a way out? Hold on, hold on, hold on. That's a rock wall. Where am I? Where am I right now? Mm. Hold on. Let me grab you. <gasps> no, 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 he sees me. He sees me. He sees me. Don't go after my vehicle, please. Okay, come down here. Come down here. Come down here. Okay, 
we're fine. Everything's fine. Everything is perfectly fine. That's just the that's just the worst like the worst environment to try to fight these guys in. Like look, you can't see two feet in front of you. Okay. Gentle, gentle, gentle. Just don't crash into anything. There's the boss right there. Alright, hold on. Hold on. I just need I just need a, a nice straight approach at one of these guys, and I think I can still take them out in here. Okay, so behind me is relatively clear. So I just gotta Am I gonna be able to shoot him from here? You think I can reach him? There we go. There we go. Here he comes. He's dead. Just like that. He's already dead. Alright, how much ammo do we have left? We have a lot of ammo left. <laughs> okay. Wow, he had five circuit boards on him. I need more component kits, though. Alright, there's definitely another boss in here. Let's go get the other boss, too. Alright, how's behind me? Behind me looks clear enough. Alright, can you see him? Barely. Barely see him right there. Okay, and fire! Fire! And he's dead. I can almost kill him before he finishes reacting to me killing him. <laughs> so this vehicle, I think I may have, may have just made like the ultimate boss killing vehicle. Spud gun goes. <laughs> this vehicle is so awesome. Oh, boss, boss, boss. We got a boss. I just got to turn around. I just got to turn around. Come on. All right, let's find a clear spot behind. Oh, you're gonna you're gonna join on the, on this too? I'm fine with that. Oh, the boss quit. Okay. Well, I'm not quitting. I won't quit you, boss. I will not quit on you. All right. Here we go. Ready and fire. Yeah, that's all it takes. That is all it takes. And we're almost out of ammo now. Ooh, if I ran out of ammo during when the boss was after me, that would have been a little bit awkward. All right, well, would you look at that? We've killed four bosses with this vehicle and didn't take any damage at all. Oh, I didn't even see that cow there, my bad. All right, and we are back at home and I think I'm gonna have to plant some more potatoes because we have four vehicles now. We have a, a looting vehicle, we have a bot killing vehicle, which can double as a looting vehicle if we just transfer some of the uh, the chests over. And we have a packaging vehicle and we have a drilling vehicle. And these cows are just, they, they're just invading my personal space. But they have their own personal space, but for some reason, they do not want to stay here. And you guys keep telling me that hay bots are obviously killing them or whatever bots are killing them, but if that was the case, then we should see some damage here being done to the walls, but um, nope. All right, well, definitely hit the like button if you guys enjoyed the mountable spudling gun attack of vehicle. It worked actually even better than I expected it to work. This thing is so overpowered. Actually, no, it's not overpowered. It is just, it is actually perfectly powered for how it's designed. It's exactly what you should expect. So if you haven't seen any previous survival episodes leading up to where we are now, then go ahead and check out this playlist on the end screen right here, as well as any other videos on the channel that you might enjoy as well. I hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.